Yo, man, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, McCann Neps, aka Mr. Nepper, Woman. Today, with the man, we got the Dallas Cowboys versus the Atlanta Falcons. You know me, hit that like button, subscribe, and share, man. And let's get straight into the video, man. We got the Cowboys, Falcons. Falcons are what, five and three? So the Falcons are pretty good. Cowboys are three and four, I believe, right? Yeah, three and four. Yep, yep, yep. Rico so be a good game, is, uh, hopefully. Back to start. Let's see if the Cowboys can send get back to the win column. Let's see. Ferguson, his second leading receiver, makes a great move to get around Nate Landman, gets away from Judon, and gets into Atlanta territory. Oh, we got Matthew Judon on the team. Here's Rico Dowdle on the sweep good, pass five in and space three? against A.J. Terrell, who tried to jar him out, but he stayed in <clears> bounds and picked up a first down. Hopefully, this should, be, this should be a good game. This should be a good game. Doorstep of the I'm red zone. Let's Press see, down on third and long, finding C.D. Mm. Lamb, but he immediately gets taken down by Ellis and Alford. Go, oh, take the three, take the three, take the three. In that red zone, the turnovers and just the red zone inefficiency, it's been a big difference from last year. Brandon Aubrey out of the courtroom from jury duty and onto the field in Atlanta <laughs> to give it a 3-0 lead for the Dallas Cowboys. That's been their formula as a team. It's not really been their formula this year. Cousins off the play action. Deep out route, Darnell Mooney. And he's jarred out of bounds. I don't know, y'all, but you know what's crazy? I don't know, but this shit is like the teams that you know are not supposed to be, like, good are good. And the teams that are supposed to be good are doing, like, terrible. Like, the Cowboys 3-4? and four? Like... The Cowboys should not be three and four. Like, yes, some of the people probably hate the Cowboys, but it should not be three and four. Like, this is kind of like, don't we, but at the end of the day, you know, San Cowboys can still pick it up. But if they can get this win, four and four, and then, you know what I'm saying? But hey, man, the, the, the Falcons are not a terrible team. They're not. The defense got better. Offense is already good. They got Kirk Cousins, and then they got Michael Penix, a rookie. Learning from Kirk Cousins, so then what Kirk Cousins is done, Michael Penix is going to be good. Watch. By Kalen they got Carson. Michael Penix is learning from Kirk Cousins because, look, because then what Kirk Cousins is done playing football, Michael Penix has already, already learned from Kirk Cousins in the offense, and he, Michael Penix is going to be good. Feel me? Now we got some QB, what QBs are, like, good that already, boom, Feel me? From Jenna Daniels, from Shea Shot last year. Feel me? But but what I feel like is like the NFL or like teams should like study and go like the Green Bay rap. Look, Brent Favre and Rogers or them love. Feel me? Aaron Rodgers learned from Brent Favre. Jordan Love learned from Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers sat behind Brent Favre, learned, then he took the offense, boom, won the Super Bowl ring, all right? Jordan Love, live from Aaron Rodgers. Boom. Aaron Rodgers was traded. Jordan Love going good. Same thing with Brett Favre. Brett Favre was traded to the, to the Vikings. Aaron Rodgers took over. He won the ring. I think 2010 or whatever it was. With the, you know what I'm saying? The Packers know how to develop QBs. And they learn about the veterans. And that's what the Falcons are doing with Michael Penix. Learning from Kirk Cousins. Because when it's time for Michael Penix to take over, he's going to do good. And he will do good. I mean, he will do good. Robinson. Good blocking along the edge for Bijan Robinson, who gets past the sticks for another first down. Mm hmm Off another play action fake. Cousins looking for London. Oh, my who God. Elevates Drake the London. His touchdown shy of the 20 by Carson. That's a boy to London, man. That boy to London. Cousins has five in the pattern. He swings okay. it out to Robinson, who's got blockers mm. in front for a first down. It's a first down. It's a first down. It doesn't matter. Hey, then, hey, then, right score. Cousins, and they score. The again. Up top oh, for his red yes. zone machine. Touchdown, Drake that boy, London. Drake London. That boy, Drake London. Good pass. And, oh, that's a big one. He won that two. one, but now he's Shoot. matched up with a big body. I like a fade London. a little bit. He's fade. become their slot receiver. Was drafted to play outside. Zach Robinson, the offensive coordinator, <clears throat> loves him inside. That number two position, and that's just a big body. He held onto the ball but now they're in third Perfect. pass. This is exactly what they don't want to be in mandatory drop back situations. Atlanta brings four and still gets to Prescott. Brady Jarrett this time rips him down. And the Stop. anemic Falcon wow. pass rush finds back to back wow. sacks to close this drive. That was not really well. 
Still alone Third again, so extra man on the blitz for Dallas. The they screen it to Kaderil Hodge. And a good job by Lewis and Wilson to make sure he doesn't pick up the first That's down. Time to, time to punt it. All right, going That's for it. in motion. Oh, shoot. Cousins, Cousins. looking, throwing. Contested catch, Darnell Mooney. Wow. Going up against the rookie, Kalen Carson. Wow. You can always tell on body language how they feel. Pressure coming on Cousins. That ball is out. Robinson batted it forward and into the hands of Donovan Wilson. Oh, Carl. That's not Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, the blitz was coming from his from his blind side. So Kirk Cousins cannot see that. But also, he, he needs... See, I thought QBs needs to learn, like, even though, like, if I'm on your blind side, you should need to make sure, oh, boom, let's like, just get a touch the ball. But, I mean, it, it can happen to any QB, you know, so that's, that's really not on Kirk Cousins because it came from his blind side. So he's not... He can't see that. From He can't see that. From me. Lost in George's own off the backside to knock it free from Cousins. Wait, his college moment over. Screen pass. First touch for CD Lamb. And a good gain on first down. They'll run it with Dowdle trying to get a push from Guyton, and he got stopped. Um, I don't know what's going on with the Cowboy, but they do not look good. Ever since they lost to my Ravens, they haven't really looked that good. I don't know what's going on. Um, I really feel like the only threat from receiving is C.D. Lamb. The other people, I mean, they're, they're, they're okay, but I feel like the Cowboys were better when they had a Mark Cooper and C.D. Lamb. I don't know. And then they didn't go for Derrick Henry. Why didn't go for Derrick Henry? Like, that doesn't make no sense. I don't know. They're like, I'll be honest, like CeeDee Lamb, he's like the receiver one, but people are focused on CeeDee Lamb so much to like the other receivers, they're not that good. They're not that good. Like, like a Mark Cooper would have been like, I don't know why they traded Mark Cooper. A Mark Cooper was good for the Cowboys. He was good for that team. You know what I'm saying? Falcons bring it all over his bodies for the line of scrimmage. They give it to C.D. Lamb on a little jet sweep, and it's Caden Ellis who drives them back with the rest of the Falcon defense. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, but, but the, the Falcon defense is good, bro. What do you think Five of um, J.C. Banks and all that? Like, come on, has now. 12 touches on their first 18 you know, plays. Jesse Banks has got a hole on this third long. Against his former quarterback in Minnesota, Kirk Cousins. Looks like a zone look. Cousins. 10 straight completions. This one to Kyle Pitts, trying to stay on his feet, and Lewis go brings him down. Go 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 imagine someone at the top of the screen is going to come. It's four over three. That's exactly what's happening. Cousins throws to the fake hit. It's what the? How did that happen? Oh, it's four over three. That's exactly what's oh. happening. Oh, okay. I Cousins see. throws to the fake hit. It's down. And Darnell Moody oh my can gosh. walk home for a touchdown. What about the Go, the Falcons? It's just too easy. Okay. Good job by our camera crew. Michael Tadamir got you that shot. Here comes Rico Dowdle. First down with a nice juke move. And it'll be a fresh set for Dallas. It's just a substitution for the run. Second time they've run this jet sweep with oh CD gosh. Lamb. And this time it goes for a big game. It that time, but the last one didn't. Atlanta showing some extra bodies in the line. They'll the bring an extra man to shoot oh, on. Shit. Dak Prescott has plenty of room. Look at Judah on two. Oh, damn. And Dak Prescott has a first down, and Terrell jars him out. This is a Dallas rushing attack. Um, they got Matthew Judon. They got Terrell. They got Jesse Bates. Who who is the other one that they put the thing in free agency or traded for? Who, who who's the other long. one? That was for I forgot. 22. Who's the other one they have? Uh, I forgot. On the ground, through and a first down. Oh, Simmons. Simmons, oh my god, they got Simmons, Simmons, Jesse Bates, Matthew Judon, and they got Terrell on the court. Down. Inside Damn. the five yard line. Check the penalty marker though. Prescott looking to throw. Pumps off the back foot, stays on his feet. Now on the move, floats it to the end zone. Caught! Rico Damn. Dowdle, the okay. juggling high oh, they needed that for the score. Cowboys were that bad, they did. Cowboys were so that bad. bad. They got it. Five-man rush. Well, like Green Jarrett wins. I mean, 
Pretty much the entire defensive the line of the Falcons wins, and Dak just keeps it alive. Throws a knuckleball that Dowdle can't quite catch initially. Something to really That's keep an eye on here though, in the second half. Four point game. Drake London can come back in this ballgame. Let's see what Kirk in the four four man lunch. Cousins rifles it. His 13th Burned consecutive down. completion went to McLeod, who lost the ball, but recovered it at the 35-yard line. Third and six. They bring it next to Molly. Uh -oh. Cousins uh -oh. looking. Uh -oh. Running out of time, and down he goes. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Lawson again showing out. That's it. Making just his fifth appearance of the season. That's it. 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 Wanye Thomas is the protector who's calling out the signals. And it is a fake for Brian Anger. And incomplete. What the fuck was that? What the fuck signals. is this? And it is a fake for Brian Anger. And incomplete. Nearly an interception pick six, for no Atlanta. Of Brian Anger's career, he has one completion. Cousins gives it to Bijan Robinson off the right. Able to slip tackles, multiple tackles, and turn it into a very good game. They've been, of course, good in the run game, but it's really been their growth in the passing game that stood out. Now Robinson continues oh to put together good runs. He takes I don't, Eric. I don't know what's going on? But why do Cowboys look like they're trash? Like, but they got so much talent, but why do they look trash? What the hell is Marco Parsons at? What the hell is he at? Good See, block by Charlie Warner. The the they want to keep this thing to a one possession game as long as they can. See her? Cousins, time, looks, wide open. I don't know y'all, but I don't know why, but the Cowboys look kind of tr I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be like, feel me? But they don't look that, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but they don't look that good to me. Man. The Cowboys don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's going to bring Ray Ray McLeod, and he's going to end up crossing the entire formation. But him and Damalo, is Michael Parsons hurt? No team struggles with pre-snap motion more than the Dallas Cowboys. You see Kirk Cousins. Everything he's looking at is left. He gets all the way through. They are just bad against motion pre-snap. Blitz coming, so a quick throw to Jalen Tolbert. That's connected past the stick. Today, so far, he's gotten home. He's at Dak Prescott a few times. He backs off. They bring an extra man from the defensive backfield. Back the made the catch on the Dallas offense. Another the pressure point. came oh from Algier gosh, that bro. time. Booted away by Pinion. And bailing out is Avery Williams. That's going to take a friendly Dallas bounce. Goodwin, the former Falcon and converted wide receiver to defensive back, kept it in play. Walking in and taking over the trap last week. Cousins off the back foot. Mooney gets away for a first down Dog. and more. And it's not for Donovan Wilson. He's getting a big gainer out of it. 21 to 10. Third and four. Who's I'm saying, bro? Safety came in for Dallas. Cousins for the Falcons. Good, man. They look good, bro. They do career. look good. Coming from the inside spot. He's doing it again. Prescott, uh, Prescott to the outside. Was that catch made? Wow. What a play by Jalen Brooks. He it. They huh? don't have to take the snap here if they don't want to. Field goal range. They Trying to get a field goal range. And pressure was coming, and Prescott. Fuck is on. Just throw it towards Ferguson. And they didn't have to run that play. The clock was going to wind down before the play clock did. Ends up being a 58-yard drive for Brandon Aubrey, Got who it. continues to drill him from deep. With some help, the former Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket. Eight-point game now, eight-point game. Getting a little thinner here. Kirk Cousins off the play action. will swing it out to Bijan Robinson. And he's been very good in space today. Lewis puts a shoulder into him, but it's an 11-yard gain for a first down for Bijan. Off the play action fake again. Pumps, floats, Robinson goes. For a big uh -huh. one. Down uh -huh. to the 25 of Dallas. You can see this Dallas Cowboys front. Look good there. They, they, they look good for real. Algier. Pushing. That's a touchdown, yeah. Getting the push. Touchdown. Getting the touchdown.
with the combination of Algier and, of course, Robinson. And, again, it's the ability of wide receivers in cut condensed formations to be used as secondary run support players. All of a sudden, those safeties and... Oh, bobbled snap. Pinion looking around. Will float it away <laughs> and just to eat the play. <laughs> it's not something they've really done much all day today. Oh, they got this again? Yep, it's overbound. Just rush, step it up. Nice throw on the move, and Ferguson got grabs it for a first down. His toughness Why and competitive is it in the game? spirit. Rush, looking deep for C.D. Lamb! Ooh. Could not hold on, and look at him grabbing that right arm and shoulder area immediately. Why does Cooper Rush look? <laughs> why does he look? Why does he look better than? Oh my God! I might be tripping. But why didn't he? Why he look a little better now? No pressure. He on no better. Lamb. It's Rush on fourth down, throwing it up top, and it's dropped by Cavante Turpin. D. Alford came in to jar it loose, and it's a turnover on downs. Oh, and the man. Falcons are feeling it. Second timeout used by Dallas. Now third down, they're bringing the house. Because it's hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Clock still stopped at 5.05, and it's fourth down. <laughs> the season he's putting together, he's as good as any defensive player in the league. Might be DPOY candidate right now. They get the first down, good catch made by Jalen Brooks. Bro, how does Cooper Bliss look better than... I'm not even tripping, but why doesn't it look he's like... He's put the ball in the money a few times. Somebody and has to make a play. Back a couple of drops, including Lamb in the end zone. This time, Turpin finds himself open and tries to break free. He gets touched down in Atlanta territory. One time out, the two-minute warning left, and what's a two-touchdown game? Here comes Flanoy, just his second career NFL catch. Have a fight chance. So rush off the back foot. I'm sorry, but this team they went out. Down down they look fucking red zone. terrible. I'm sorry, but they look trash. Inside at 240 after a touchdown. I don't know, bro. What's going on, bro? I don't know. Who knows, man? Half time after a good Dallas drive. Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb, though, right now out of this game due to injuries. So Cooper Rush is in. Atlanta shows and brings pressure. Rush back in the end zone. It is a touchdown for Jalen Tolbert. That's probably too late, though. Not even a minute. That's, that's too late, though. Dallas still alive. And I think now they're going to go for two. They're going to try to ace the 14 play. We'll get to that here in a second. Nice job keeping his feet in by Jalen Tolbert. Lamb is on the field in motion. Oh, Lamb is back. Right He's wide there. open. Yep. Credit to CD Lamb, who even took a slight shot from Alford <laughs> on that right shoulder. He's like, I can't catch a break. <laughs> mm. Still rolling, and a good job to cut that ball off by the Falcons. And sure enough, it was Kyle Pitts to secure it and yeah, secure game. a win. And how about yeah, that's game. Hey, man, good shit to the Falcons, man. They're 6 and 3. Cowboys, don't know what they're going on, but Kyle will probably figure it out. Um, I don't know. Hey, man, who knows, man? I'll see you later.